everyone, it's me once again. Um, so what we have here is an Apexel 36x zoom, telephoto zoom lens attached to my Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra. So 36 times with the 100 times space zoom capability that Galaxy S20 uh, Ultra has. I don't think anyone actually done some experiment on this matter on YouTube So I will probably want to be the first one to film this now just so you know uh, The tripod here is not that good. You would see that it actually has certain clicks and it's if you see what I mean is is in reality it's not uh, practical so what I've done is I used uh, the um, the selfie mount with the pin on the bottom and attached to my uh, Manfrotto uh, tripod so I could actually freely move it around and also you will notice from Galaxy uh, S20 Ultra there are three types of lens I don't know what they've, they've well the tiniest one is but if you zoom from one to just below 10 times it will be functioning on the middle lens and then the square which is the function for uh, 100 times space zoom that's where I actually started my experiment on it so I'm gonna go along with the video clips of what I recorded unfortunately I haven't managed to record anything for the recent days because a week or so it's, it's still a very glorious cloudy day out there in UK and Britain so apologies for that but anyway let's get on to the video clips so here it goes so you see that transmission tower over there that's actually nearly about a mile away from us and um, on this zoom camera you can see the tip of this so this technically I understand it to be 360 times zoom because the uh, Galaxy S20 Ultra is on the 10th time zoom and um, this lens is actually 36 times zoom so this is incredible so what we're seeing here is my first attempt with the zoom scale of 14.6 times another 36 times zoom actually it's about 360 uh, times zoom uh, of a screenshot recorded that I made from from my mobile phone so you can see that still I mean you can zoom in about 30 like 100 I mean I go to the point of 66 point well 100 times zoom and it's literally just nothing there other than just some weird like movements of wiggles I would say but now I decided to zoom out to down to 16.4 times another 36 times zoom still it's not a really clearly defined surfaces at all now bear in mind that um, the reason it black blacks out is because when I go to the below 10% zoom is is when um, it transfers to another lens that's why I have to go back up beyond of 10 point uh, sorry 10 times zoom to be able to uh, get it connected to my telephoto zoom lens of 36 times zoom now you will see it's, this is about 360 times zoom um, and then what I'm trying to do here is readjust um, the zoom well the sharpness of the lens and um, you would imagine because it's on a like we're actually doing about 360 times zoom on a tripod and if I touch it or if I even move slightly from the floor um, it wiggles a lot and you can see now the moon is slowly moving along which I find it really cool but this video concludes that it's like um, if you go beyond um, well we'll see later on but if it's around 360 times zoom um, the, even though we got a pretty good lens of zoom of 36 times you can't really clearly see the moon or maybe I'm being too greedy and too unrealistic here um, but um, around 360 times zoom, we pretty much uh, it, the, the screen itself is not capable to grasp the whole size of the moon here so what you're seeing here is exhibit B where I actually swap the lens to the middle one which is below 10 times zoom now you can see it because I haven't set it up into pro settings you'll see all these blue lights glowing around uh, the moon but um, you're starting to see uh, the Maria moon Maria around the edge where it's not fully um, 
because it's not a full moon you see the shadow effect there so i thought that was pretty cool now finally with the same lens with the zoom scaled down of uh around 3.6 with the pro settings i managed to get rid of the blue outlines and we're seeing a rather clearly defined oh st still seeing a bit of a cloud moving around so yeah this is 3.3 times zoom but it's just it comes to the point when you use the 36 times zoom that um, if you go above well this is 5.5 times that's pretty cool but if you go um, probably up to 10 times zoom it's acceptable quality i mean i still find it so cool that the moon is moving slowly that in a in a naked eye we don't really realize that but um you start to see the point where with a 36 times zoom lens um with with uh well beyond 10 times of zoom it's pretty much pointless so you wonder why uh, you actually need a Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra of the 10 times, sorry, 100 times space zoom. Uh, you can see it's, the, the screen is wobbly because I was trying to make it more sharper, but I, I am pretty sure I came to the point now that the, the sharpness and the details of what I can get uh, from the screen recording is, is is that I have actually adjusted as much as I can with my uh, 36 times apex so um, so, sorry, this zoom, um, but yeah, apologies for all the wobbly effect here. I mean, in, in results, we got a pretty cool photo actually I have already uploaded on my Instagram and my Facebook and my um, community post yesterday so that you guys can see. I'm really pleased with this quality, but I just wish there was a bit more sharpness on it. You can see various of, um, what is it called, um, Luna Maria of, of the moon and um, it's much better than the naked eye indeed um, but that's pretty much it I would say now what we're on it is the exhibit D where um, I'm trying almost like 360 times zoom for Mars now unfortunately it's pretty much the same as you can see it's in on a pro mode but it's so difficult to capture the Mars and it, <laughs> the line is moving around. It almost, it's unrecognizable, but a just a bright object at this moment. I was hoping for a better result, but again, um, using the limited equipment, unprofessional equipment I have, it's very difficult to capture Mars, but this is what you get. Um, unfortunately so apologies for that but at least I tried so it's a it's like a beautiful yellowy thing almost of a shape of a UFO rather than uh, um, so, sort of like a star or any of the things that we know of so unrecognizable yellowy orangey object and you can see that I'm trying to do different settings because I'm pretty sure somewhere the glow is not really well adjusted so you can see like i'm adjusting this and that i just bear in mind that i'm not an expert on this whole thing and it i actually come to the point where i don't know what am i doing but i just decided to adjust all these different figures but it didn't really improve with uh capturing mars um, and I, I realized that's pretty much the limit I could do with the pro settings. So apologies for that, but that's the best I can get. So, um, regards to the tripod, do I recommend it? No, as clearly stated from the beginning of this video, you're quite limited to, it'll be a nightmare to actually get a moonshot with this tripod. You do need a professional uh, Manfrotto uh, tripod actually the one that I use here um, but regards to the clip it's a bit of a nightmare here you can see as time goes by it's starting to slowly come off so the clip itself is a perfect fit for my wife's um, iPhone 10s uh, phone so it you can actually swap the lens literally just one to another by taking it off but if you want to swap the 10 times zoom uh, be above 10 times zoom to the below 10 times zoom you, you have to literally take off the clip and it's a bit of a nightmare with the Samsung Galaxy S20 so I spent about 40 minutes yesterday to record the moon um, but um, 
I mean, it, I'm actually quite pleased with the result, I would say. I was expecting way more, but if you're going to be beyond of a 10 times of a zoom, you won't be able to capture, you'll probably get just part, like quarter of the moon just already filling up your screen. So, regards to Samsung phone, is, it, is there any point to use your 10, 100 times zoom capability combined with this Apexel 36 times zoom that I've reached up to 3600 times zoom. Not really. As long as your phone, any phone that has a sharpness of a detail of a zoom capability up to 10 times zoom, you can use any phone. Now, um, I actually, again, early on, uh, what I explained was I used it with my iPhone, uh, my wife's iPhone 10s, and the quality somehow was pixelated maybe i had to readjust the sharpness on the zoom lens again i think that was the that is the case but um what comparing to the samsung galaxy s20 ultra that i have here regards to capturing the contrast between the brightness and the shadow effect and darkness and adjusting samsung my samsung phone was immediately be able to uh spot the difference while as iPhone that I was using yesterday, my wife's 10s was just jumping all over the place. So it was more difficult, slightly more regards to capturing the light, but it still did the job, but pixelated. Anyway, I hope this video helped you understand more about this um, zoom lens, whether it's worth getting one. Um, I don't think it's one of the best zoom lens you can get. Maybe I should buy a couple of hundred pounds, but then again, why should I buy it? Because I could always attach it to my actual camera, my Canon um, M EOS M50. But um, I'm sure many people out there want to know how this actually works. So I just want to give you a sample of it. And just want to let you know, I'm not really a professional photographer. I'm starting to get into it, but I, I got still a long way to go. Anyway, I hope this video helped you and um, make you understand how this whole thing works. So if you have any queries, please do comment below. So thank you very much for watching this video. This is LJP Tech. All the best. Bye-bye.